ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and the President of the Italian Republic. Well, thank you very much, everyone. It's an honor to have you all at the White House. You hear that beautiful music in the background. Normally, we wait till it ends, but you're Italian. We move fast, right? <laughs> you definitely move fast. Tonight, we celebrate the extraordinary friendship between Italy and the United States, and we honor the faith, courage, and countless achievements of our incredible Italian-American community. Those people in that community have done so much for our country. We're grateful to be joined by a very special man, a highly respected man in Italy and far beyond, President Sergio Mattarella of Italy. And his beautiful daughter, Laura. Laura, would you like to come up? Please, come up. Please, come on up, Laura. Thank you. Great. And thank you both for coming today to reaffirm the powerful bonds between our people. I want to thank the many amazing members of my cabinet, hardworking members of Congress, members of both Italian and American diplomatic missions, and many other distinguished guests with us tonight. We have uh, so many. Senator John Barrasso is here someplace, John. We have Senator Joe Manchin. Where's Joe? Joe? You're not Italian, are you, Joe? Or do you have Italian? What percentage Italian, Joe? Huh? Well, that's half. Well, I knew I liked him for a reason, huh? <laughs> Kellyanne Conway, she's also half, right? Kellyanne, you're half, right? And she's great. Your mom. House GOP whip Steve Scalise. Steve, where's my Steve? <laughs> the bravest guy in the room, Steve Scalise. Representative Mark Amore. Mark, where's Mark? Thank you, Mark. Representative Jeff Fortenberry. Representative Virginia Fox. Representative Greg Gianforte. Hi, Greg. I hear you're doing well out there, huh? I hear, I hear. He's good, great man. Representative Doug LaMalfa. Doug. He's all Italian. He's all Italian. Those last two guys we have. I mean, now, Carol Miller, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Where's Carol? Carol Miller. Yeah, she's got a little piece of Italian in there someplace. Representative Brad Wenstrup. Brad, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brad. Secretary Alex Azar is here someplace. Alex, thank you, Alex. How are we doing? Cures for everything, right? He's finding more cures for problems. You're doing a great job, and you're getting drug prices down. Secretary David Bernhardt. David, thank you. Thank you, David. He's the biggest landlord in the world right now. <laughs> he controls actually half of the United States, right? From the Mississippi right over to the rest. Great job you're doing. Secretary Ben Carson, my friend. Ben, thank you, Ben. He's my friend. Whoa! Listen to that. They're all jealous now, Ben. Ben's doing a fantastic job. I said, what do you know about housing? Not too much. Would you like to head HUD? And you know what? He did a great job. Better than the people that knew a lot. Right, Ben? He's now he knows more than anybody. Secretary Betsy DeVos. Betsy? Thank you, Betsy. Good job. Good job. Ambassador Robert Lighthizer. He's got more things that he's negotiating. Robert, thank you. Just did a deal with China. Will be one of the biggest deals. It's really incredible. Now we're getting it papered out, but they're starting to buy all of that farm product anyway. Great job. Secretary Steve Mnuchin, Treasury. Hi, Steve. Thanks. Now, you, I know, don't have too much Italian in you, Steve. I'm pretty sure about that. But he loves the Italians. Administrator Andrew Wheeler, EPA. He's done a fantastic job. Thank you, Andrew. Great job. Thanks to have you. A brand new secretary, somebody that's so respected and in labor, but one of the most successful lawyers in the country, and he gave it all up to be secretary of labor. Just got confirmed with a very good margin, meaning he won by about five or six votes, which today is considered a landslide. 
Okay, you know, it used to be you get 100 to nothing. Today, those, those days are gone. But if you win by as many votes as you did, that's a great testament to you. Eugene Scalia, thank you. Thank you. Great. Congratulations. Secretary Elaine Chow, one of my favorite people. Where is Elaine? Hi, Elaine. Beautiful woman and a great woman. And Secretary Wilbur Ross. Why, Wilbur? Uh, and I owe you a call, Wilbur. But I want to thank you all for being here very much. And our nation and our civilization have been profoundly enriched by Italian faith, courage, creativity, brilliance, and spirit. The timeless legacy of the Roman Republic. What two beautiful words. Roman Republic influenced nations around the globe to pursue the ideals of citizenship, representative government, and the rule of law. Sounds so familiar, doesn't it? The Italian Renaissance opened new horizons of human endeavor and uplifted the world with immortal works of genius. And when I go to Italy and I look and I see, and I see the greatest artists in history, Michelangelo carved life into marble, and Da Vinci inspired wonder with feats of divine beauty. Just don't see it anywhere else to that extent. Through the centuries, Italy gave us everything from Galileo's telescope to Verdi's opera to Versace's fashion to the voice of my friend. He was a great friend of mine, Pavarotti. He was a diva. He was the greatest of all divas. He was a male. He was a male diva, but we loved him. And the young man that just sang, it reminded me so much. His voice reminded me so much of Luciano and the cars of Lamborghini and Ferrari. Think of what you've done. Think of it, how brilliant it is artistically. From the hallowed dome of St. Peter's to the beautiful frescoes of our own Capitol building, the Italian heritage has wonderfully shaped all of our country. Indeed, our name, America, is derived from the great Italian navigator and mapmaker, Amerigo Vespucci. That's right. <laughs> On Monday, our nation commemorated the legendary achievements of an intrepid Italian explorer, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> and today, from Columbus Circle, and you know all about Columbus Circle, we love Columbus Circle in New York. And Columbus, Ohio, what a great place that is to our nation's capital, the District of Columbia. His memory stands as an enduring testament to the daring spirit that built our great civilization. And as long as I have anything to say about this, and I hope that's going to be a long time, it will always be Columbus Day. Since the earliest days of our Republic, the United States has also been uplifted by the contributions, sacrifices, and accomplishments of a vibrant, thriving, and proud Italian-American community. You come from a great, great community, great achievers, great people. Italian-Americans have invigorated every aspect of our society, culture, and history. From Frank Sinatra, friend of mine, to Frank Capra. From Joe DiMaggio, he was a great player great player, to Vince Lombardi, what a coach. And from Mother Cabrini to the late, great Justice Antonin Scalia, the father of Jean. Soon he'll be known as the father of Jean, right, Jean? He was a great man, a great guy. Countless Italian-Americans have answered the call to defend our nation in uniform, serving in every war and every branch of our armed forces. Among those we're honored to have with us tonight, the first Marine to be Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, a proud Italian-American General, Peter Pace. Peter, where are you, Peter? Peter? Wow. That's fantastic. The Chairman, that's a big position, Peter, right? That's a great position. We have a great new Chairman now, as you know. 
I want to thank you, Peter, for being here and your heroism on the battlefield, your lifetime of service to our nation. Thank you very much. This evening, we're also thrilled to be joined by another very special guest, an Italian-American legend who truly knows about winning and he knows about speed. I had the privilege of being driven by him one day along — we were doing a show along Central Park West. He took off in a car four blocks. We covered the four blocks in about one second, and I said, get me, get me out of here. And you'll see what I'm talking about, but it was uh, seriously fast. And I'm very happy to be with you tonight. His family immigrated to the United States in 1955 with just $125 to their name. As a boy, he dreamed to be like his heroes in Formula One racing. And sure enough, he grew up to be one of the fastest men alive, one of the greatest racers of all time. He is the only driver in world history to win the Indy 500, the Daytona 500, and the Formula One World Championship. Not bad. I guess he likes speed. He has 111 career wins in races all across the globe, which has to be a record of some kind. That's a lot of wins. That's a lot of non-choking. There's no choke when you win that much. A lot of people choke. He doesn't choke. He is a legendary race car driver and somebody that's very special in the annals of sport. Mario Andretti. Mario, wherever you are, come on up. Come up, Mario. Come up, Mario. There he is. Boy, you look good, Mario. You remember you took me on that ride? I said, get me out of here. He said, we were together. I said, Mario, get me out of here. I want to get out of this car. We went so fast. We literally, we covered four blocks in like a second. And he said, sir, that's actually going very slow. He wanted to go faster. I said, we did it enough. That was for The Apprentice. We had fun. Say a few words to your friends, please. Thank you, Mary. I'm also not very tall, as you can see. Well, thank you so much. And as you said, I'm uh, an Italian immigrant, immigrant, very, very, um, uh, as you can imagine, proud of my heritage. But um, I also found we, as a family, we found our home here in America. And, uh, and I'm the true, true, I think, example of what the American dream is about. And um, I always said because of that, and, uh, and with pride and gratitude, I salute uh, the Stars and Stripes. That's great. Yes, indeed. And, uh, and again, uh, I can only thank you, and thank you for having me up here. And I know that you made the show, right? That's right. We, uh, we made it, so, Absolutely. so that was mission accomplished, and I appreciate that fact. So thank you very much, you Mr. President. Yeah, I remember. Yes, uh, actually, it's on YouTube. I showed it to some of our friends back here. Yeah. I'm not sure I want to watch. I didn't mess up your hair either. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. 111 wins. Think about that for speed. And that has to be in your blood, Mary. All right. Let him say hello to the president. I think they like each other. <laughs> hey, Mario, so when you have 111 wins, that's in your blood, right? It's got to be in the blood. Can you do that if you don't like going fast? Huh? Yeah. You, yeah, get a, get a driver. That's the way you do it, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Stay up here if you'd like, Mario. Thank you very much. Uh, to all Italian-Americans in the room and across our country, Again, thank you for uplifting our communities. Thank you for strengthening our nation. And thank you for everything you've done to unleash American greatness. You're an amazing group of people. I know so many people in the room tonight. We have so many successful people, great people. As many of you know, our guest of honor tonight, President Sergio Mattarella, entered politics to combat the mafia. That means he's tough. That's a tough deal and spent much of his career rooting out corruption. He's a crime fighter and a patriot, two things we love in America. He's also the first Sicilian president of the Italian Republic. <laughs> Mr. President, we are delighted to have you both with us at the White House. And I really uh, have a lot of respect for you. We spent the day together. It was a wild day. He said, you know, your news conferences are tougher than most. <laughs> it's uh, — every question is a kill. They're going for the kill, fake news back there. 
Every question is a kill. But he got it. He's a pro. He's uh, really amazing. He's an amazing guy. And I'd like to invite you up, Mr. President, to say a few words, please. Signor Presidente, le sono molto grato per l'espressione di amicizia che ha voluto rivolgermi e che ricambio anche a nome di mia figlia e della delegazione che mi accompagna e la ringrazio per l'accoglienza così calorosa ricevuta a Washington. Uh, Mr. President, I am very grateful for your words of friendship, uh, words that I wish to reciprocate also on behalf of my daughter and uh, of my accompanying delegation. Uh, thank you also very much for your very warm welcome here in Washington, D.C. La ringrazio molto per questo completo escursus che ha fatto poc'anzi, ricordando i tanti legami che legano Stati Uniti e Italia e le tante figure che cementano questo nostro rapporto. And I also uh, listened with uh, a great deal of pleasure to the words you spoke a few minutes ago, mentioning all of the bonds we share and all the great people that uh, are of Italian heritage. Sono lieto di poter salutare esponenti delle istituzioni e della società degli Stati Uniti, insieme a rappresentanti della comunità americana di origine italiana, cittadini che hanno saputo contribuire attivamente attraverso il lavoro, la dignità e il sacrificio al progresso di questo grande Paese e la sua identità, onorando il motto e pluribus unum che l'accompagna da oltre due secoli. And I am happy to be able to greet uh, representatives of the uh, U.S. institutions and civil society, along with representatives of the uh, American community of Italian descent, all of whom are citizens who, through their labor, their dignity, and their sacrifice, have contributed to the progress of this great nation and to its identity, thereby honoring the motto, E Pluribus Unum, which has been accompanying the country for over two centuries. Oggi sempre più persone e tra loro numerosissimi giovani considerano Stati Uniti e Italia come una casa nella quale vivere e muoversi in entrambe le direzioni contribuendo con passione e determinazione a proiettare i nostri paesi nel futuro. More and more people including many youngsters um, now consider the United States and Italy uh, as a home which they can live in and move back and forth in, and uh, therefore supporting our countries with passion and determination as they head towards the future. Si rafforza così un'amicizia profonda, cementata nel secondo dopoguerra dalla relazione transatlantica. Il contributo offerto agli Stati Uniti alla liberazione dell'Europa dal nazifascismo è inestimabile e la riconoscenza dell'Italia e dell'Europa verso il popolo americano è intramontabile. Siamo parte di una comunità di valori e di principi. And by doing so our deep friendship is strengthened. It is a friendship fostered by the Transatlantic Alliance uh, and it was fostered very much after World War II. The United States contribution to the liberation of Europe from Nazi fascism is priceless and Italy and Europe's gratitude towards the American people is everlasting. We are part of a community of values and principles. La leadership del mondo libero, esercitata con responsabilità dagli Stati Uniti d'America, anche attraverso l'impulso alla creazione delle Nazioni Unite, ha visto il contributo convinto dell'Italia alla pace e alla sicurezza internazionale. And the United States of America's responsible leadership in the free world also thanks to the impulse it gave to the creation of the United Nations, has had Italy's full support in striving towards peace and international security. Come è avvenuto recentemente in Afghanistan, in Iraq, nei Balcani, nel Cono d'Africa, nel Sahel, nell'ambito nell della coalizione per sconfiggere Daesh e il terrorismo transnazionale. As recently happened in Afghanistan, Iraq, the Balkans, the Horn of Africa, and the Sahel, 
within the framework of the coalition to defeat Daesh and transnational terrorism. Insieme, Washington and Roma, alleati leali, hanno affrontato le sfide di un contesto globale in continuo cambiamento. And together as loyal allies, Washington and Rome have faced the challenges of an ever-changing global context. Signor Presidente, pace e sviluppo sono state garantite al continente europeo dalla integrazione tra paesi un tempo avversario. Mr. President, peace and development in Europe have been guaranteed by the integration of countries which used to be opponents. Gli Stati Uniti sono stati protagonisti nel sollecitare una intensa collaborazione fra i paesi europei all'indomani della Seconda Guerra Mondiale e siamo tuttora convinti dell'importanza di quella scelta per equilibri mondiali in cui le libertà e i diritti dell'umanità siano rispettati. The United States were a key player in calling for intense cooperation between European countries after World War II and we still acknowledge the importance of that choice in striking a global balance in which freedom and the rights of mankind are respected. L'Unione Europea, oltre che un motore di crescita e prosperità, è per noi, così come l'Alleanza Atlantica, una comunità di destino che si fonda su valori e diritti condivisi con gli Stati Uniti. Um, to us, the European Union, besides being a driver for growth and prosperity, much like the Atlantic Alliance, um, is a community we were destined for one founded on the values and rights we share with the United States. Per i nostri paesi, signor Presidente, il legame transatlantico affianca la politica estera e della difesa comune, la sintonia immediata delle relazioni sociali, la collaborazione culturale, la tradizionale cooperazione economico-commerciale, di cui spieghiamo lo sviluppo nel segno della più ampia ed equa libertà degli scambi e della crescita degli investimenti. To our countries, Mr. President, the transatlantic bond resonates in our common foreign and defense policies and in our close social relations, our cultural cooperation, our traditional economic cooperation and trade, which we hope will develop with the broadest and fairest freedom of trade and growth in investments. La nostra, il nostro legame si estende alla ricerca che coinvolge studiosi, università, imprese, professionisti di entrambi i paesi. Our bond embraces research and involves scholars, universities, businesses and professionals from both our countries. Come avviene per la dimensione affascinante del percorso di conoscenza spaziale che il genere umano ha imboccato da quando gli Stati Uniti e l'umanità con loro hanno posto l'impronta del primo essere umano sul suolo lunare. It's something we're witnessing in the fascinating quest to increase our knowledge regarding space a journey which was started when the U.S. and my, mankind with it allowed the first human being to step onto the moon's soil. Desidero celebrare quell'impresa, rivolgendo uno sguardo ideale con riconoscenza agli astronauti, tra i quali Nick Hague, Andrew Morgan, Christina Koch e Luca Parmitano, al lavoro in questo momento sulla stazione spaziale. And I wish to celebrate that feat by uh, sending my thoughts to the astronauts including Nick Haig, Andrew Morgan, Christina Koch, and our own Luca Parmitano, who are currently working on the International Space Station. Signor Presidente, queste donne e questi uomini in orbita ci parlano di speranza, di futuro dell'umanità. Sono i sentimenti di progresso che accomunano gli Stati Uniti d'America, l'Europa, L'Italia. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President. Mr. President, these women and men orbiting the Earth speak to us of hope, and they speak to us of the future of mankind. Uh, they represent the progress shared by the U.S., Europe, and Italy. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and Mrs. Scalia, thank you very much. Special woman, I just spotted you, thank you.